So I looked up the definition of gratitude and it's the conscious positive emotion one can express when feeling thankful for something, whether tangible or intangible. So I don't know if that's boring or not, but I'm going to talk about it more layperson's terms and how I practice it and how other people do it and why it makes me feel so good. And I talk a lot about gratitude lists because I've been exchanging gratitude lists with my friend Nancy and I. We've exchanged them for over a decade. And it's because our friend Cheryl, who passed away a long time ago, she used to write down every single night five things she was grateful for. Even when she had cancer and in the throes of it, she would write down things she was grateful for. So Nancy and I just started exchanging. I don't know how long it's been. I, I should ask her, but we started exchanging our lists with each other. And it's expanded to now there's groups of us and we exchange our lists every single day. And some people, Right, send them in the morning, some at night. And I interviewed somebody a couple of weeks ago who said, you could set an intention at night of what you want to dream about or put your gratitude down. And there's all kinds of really cool things that we can do with our mind. When you are grateful, it raises not just your vibrational frequency, it raises the dopamine in your brain and it's tied to greater happiness. Uh, Harvard School for Happiness and the Harvard studies have proven that gratitude is tied to greater happiness. And here's seven scientific benefits to being grateful. It opens the door to better relationships. You get better physical health, better psychological health. It enhances empathy and it decreases aggression. People sleep better when they're grateful. That alone is, I love sleep <laughs> and Getting more sleep, getting seven to eight hours sleep minimum a night is better for your health also. It increases your self-esteem and everybody, confidence is a huge thing. I'm going to be starting a clarity and confidence boost sessions, which I'll talk about in the next week. Also, it increases your mental strength when you're grateful, which I did not know. So that's huge. I used to think I was so stupid. So maybe I just quit thinking I was stupid because I became grateful. <laughs> I don't know, chicken or the egg. Making a list of different things, whatever they are in your life, that will raise your vibrational frequency right there and make you feel grateful. It just does. So making an intentional list. And then when you're writing the list, don't just write it by rote. Think about and feel into what you're writing that I'm so grateful I have a bed to sleep in. I'm so grateful I get to sleep. I'm so grateful that for the internet and I can find like-minded people who have similar interests and I get to make friends. Did you hear Marissa G. Franco's episode on friendships as an adult? I love that. I love talking to her and finding out about all these studies and that there's ways to make friendships and that People actually think better of us than we ever think they do. The likability factor and, and all of that. And exchanging lists, by the way, keeps you accountable. When you're receiving lists from other people, you're like, oh yeah, I have to do my list. <laughs> and it keeps you accountable. And I feel closer to the people that I exchange lists with. So even if I don't see them, I feel closer to them because I get their lists. And I feel like we're really close, even though we don't see them all the time. Another thing you can do is write a letter to somebody about how much they mean to you. Nothing will make you feel closer to that person. I, I remember years ago, gosh, it's over 10 years when I was asked to write a letter to a friend of mine. She was adopting a child and I had to write a letter, basically a letter of recommendation, but it was a letter of what she means to me. Nothing made me feel better. It just lights me up now to even think about that letter. Yeah, it made me so happy. I, I don't even know how it made her feel, but it made me happy to write her that letter because she's so great. And I just think about that and it lights me up. So writing a letter like that once a month to somebody to tell them how much they mean to you is the most feel good thing there is. And it was suggested that you write a letter like that to yourself. Also, write a letter to you about how great you are. So gratitude practice has been shown to improve your well-being. Thich Nhat Hanh, he uh, used to say, think of today as a day that I don't have a toothache. <laughs> so isn't it great today? I don't have a toothache. So that's how he would think of every day and, and a day to practice gratitude. Yeah, today I don't have a toothache. The other thing is being social is a muscle. 
I listened to Robert Waldinger. He's a Harvard professor and a Zen monk. He has a TED talk. He, I just listened to his second TED talk. It's private right now, I think. But anyway, it's on happiness. And he says they studied people at the end of life. And the most meaningful part of people's lives is the strength and warmth of relationships is the most meaningful thing that people look back on at the end of their life. So again, it's not, did I work harder or make money? It's always about the strength and warmth of relationships. So it's an exercise that we have to maintain and strengthen our relationships. So is there somebody that you wish you were talking to more? You can look through your phone and go and, and text them and say, hey, I miss you. It's an exercise muscle. It's a social muscle that we, social fitness, uh, that friendships need attention. And then you can feel grateful that, oh, I text that person and just say, how are you? I'm thinking of you. I'd like to get together or just send the, I'm thinking of you, whatever you want to say, use your own verbiage. But in order to have those kind of meaningful relationships, you have to take the initiative, make plans, make routines. I've been trying to go on walks with people or at least make plans to do that and put it on my calendar so that it's it's a non-negotiable. And I've only done a few, but they light me up and I think, oh, I don't have time for this. But then I go and I do have time. It, it's what's important. It's what's really important. My friend manifested a ranch. Like it's so incredible. She's had so many health issues and she has a ranch with rescue animals that heal and help people less fortunate and her health issues went away. It, it's so incredible. And we all celebrated her last weekend. I got to lead a meditation there and it was amazing watching her take that in and and she celebrated her all of us too it's it's a mutual thing but but you could feel the gratitude and that's what we do when you're around people that celebrate you and lift you up you get to lift them up as well so find your peeps find those people that celebrate you and lift you up stay in gratitude stay in what it is that keeps your vibrational energy lifted and i mean some things we got to show up for we just have to but we, you get to show up. You get to. There's lessons in everything. And once you get through it, you're like, oh, that's what I was supposed to learn. <laughs> that sucked, but I get it now. And because there are, there's lessons in everything. And it's not till we're through. The only way through is through. But once we're through, you're like, oh, I get it now. And that's just kind of how it works. Yeah. 